Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss graph coloring problem using backtracking technique. Already using backtracking technique, we have discussed three problems. One is Enquain's problem, two is subset sum problem and third one is Hamiltonian circuit. And this is the fourth problem we can able to implement using backtracking technique. And the problem is given a graph and set of colors and we need to color the vertices in such a way no two adjacent vertices are of same color okay for example if i am giving green color to vertex a in the sense the same green color should not be given for vertex b as well as for vertex d because the vertices b and d are adjacent to a Similarly, if I am giving a red color for vertex C in the sense, the same red color should not be given for vertex B and vertex D because vertex B and D are directly connected. So, these two vertices are adjacent to C. Okay. So, no two adjacent vertices should not be given same color. This is nothing but graph coloring problem. And the important concept in graph coloring problem is chromatic number. So, chromatic number is nothing but what is the minimum number of colors required to color the given graph? Here graph will be given and we need to color the graph in such a way no two adjacent vertices are of same color. By implementing this constraint, what is the minimum number of colors required to color the given graph? That is nothing but the chromatic number. So this graph coloring problem is otherwise called chromatic number problem or otherwise M coloring problem. So, here this M represents what is the possible number of colors required to color the given graph. That is why this graph coloring problem is otherwise called M coloring problem or chromatic number problem. Okay. So, this is nothing but graph coloring problem. So, here if you are considering, they have given a graph with four vertices A, B, C and D. And if you are considering here, vertex A is adjacent to B and D. Similarly, vertex B is adjacent to A and C. Vertex C is adjacent to B and D. And vertex D is adjacent to A and C. By implementing the constraint, that is, no two adjacent vertices should not be given same color. We need to color this given graph. So, here M is equal to 3. That is nothing but they have given 3 colors. That is, red, green and blue colors they have given. Okay. So, with these three given colors, how many possible ways to color this given graph by satisfying the given constraint? So, for example, if I am giving a red color to vertex A in the sense, what is the possible number of solutions to color the other vertices by satisfying the given constraint? Okay. The constraint here is no two adjacent vertices are of same color. So, the possibility is vertex A, I can give red color, vertex B, I can give green color, C, red and D, green. This is one solution, yes one, okay. And the second solution, A is red, B is green, C is red and D is blue. Third solution is A is red, B is blue, C is green and D is blue. Fourth solution, A is red, B is blue, C is red, D is blue. Fifth solution, A is red, B is green, C is blue, D is green. And the sixth solution, A is red, B is blue, C is red, D is green. So, this is sixth solution. So, by considering vertex A, I have given a red color. So, the possibility to give green and blue colors to the remaining vertices. Okay, so th there are six possibilities. Similarly, if I am considering to give green color for vertex A in the sense, similarly I can get 6 more solutions by considering vertex A colored as green. Okay. Similarly, vertex A colored as blue in the sense, the possibility for other vertices to color the remaining colors is 6. Okay. So, here we will get 18 solutions. And what is the minimum colors required to color this given graph in the sense? 2 is enough. So, A and C we can give same color. B and D we can give same color. So, 2 colors is enough here. So, the chromatic number for this given graph is 2. Okay. So, this is nothing but graph coloring problem. And this graph coloring problem we are going to implement with the backtracking technique. What is backtracking technique? Backtracking technique can be implemented with the help of the state space tree. The state space tree will start with a root node. 
So the root node will be considered as the initial state for the state space tree. Then construct the next level component depth wise to find the feasible solution. Whenever we reach a dead end in the sense, backtrack to the previous level and consider the other possibilities for that level. Similarly, whenever we are getting a solution, backtrack to the previous level and check the other possibilities to get the feasible solution. Because in backtracking technique, by implementing the state space tree, more than one solution is possible. So, backtracking we can apply whenever we reach to the dead end as well as whenever we got the feasible solution. Because each level we need to consider the possibilities. All possibilities we need to consider. So for this graph coloring problem, we will construct the state space tree. So first, I will color the first color for the first vertex, red color for the vertex A. Okay. So vertex A, I have colored with red. So vertex B and D should not be colored with red. That is the meaning. Okay. Next up. Vertex A I have given red color in the sense. Vertex B, I will give the second color. That is green color. Okay. And red color, is there any possibility for B? Red color can I give? No. This is a dead end because adjacent vertices are of same color. Okay. But I can give blue color for vertex B. So here we will construct depth wise. Okay. So A vertex I have given red color. B vertex I have given green color. Then C vertex, I should not give green color because adjacent vertices will be of same color. So I can give red color for C. Possibility is there. So if I am giving red color for C, then what is the color I can given for D? Possibility is I should not give red color for D. Okay. So red color in the sense it is a dead end. For D, I can give green color. Okay. So this will be considered as solution 1. Now, we got one feasible solution. Further, there is no possibility to proceed because all four vertices in the given graph, we have given different colors by satisfying the constraint. That is, no two vertices are of same color. Okay. So, backtrack to the previous level and check the other possibility. So, for C, if I am from C, if you are considering for vertex D, I have checked for red color. There is no possibility. It is a dead end. And for vertex D, I can give green color. If I am giving green color, I will get one solution. For vertex D, I can give blue color also. That is another solution. This is solution 2. Okay. From C, if you are checking in the sense for vertices D, all three choices we have checked. So, only they have given three colors for this given graph. They have given three colors. So, for all these three colors, we have checked for vertex D. Next, backtrack to the previous step. Okay. And from B, check the possibility for C. So, from B, I have given C red color. Next, I can give C green color. No, this is a dead end because these two vertices are of same color. Can I give blue color for C? Yes, I can give blue color for C. So, if I am giving blue color for C in the sense, what is the possibility of color to be given for D? Vertex D, can I give red? Yes, because no two adjacent vertices are of same color. Okay. So, here A, I am giving red in the sense, B, I am giving green and C, I am giving blue, D, I am giving red in the sense, adjacent vertices is A is there, A is already given red. No possibility to give red for D. So, check for D, green. So, here red for A, green is given to B and this is blue and this is D is given as green. Yes, this is another solution. Yes, 3. Now, we got the solution, so backtrack to the previous level and check the other possibility. One more possibility is there for D. That is, can I give blue color for D? C is already blue. If I am giving D blue color in the sense, it won't satisfy the constraint. So, this will be considered as a dead end. Okay? So, backtrack to the previous step. So, from C, all three choices we have checked here. Now, backtrack to B. And from B, red, green, blue. All three choices we have checked for vertex C. Okay. Next, backtrack to the previous level A. And from here, if you are checking in the sense, we have checked for green and red. Green, these are all the possibilities. And if you are giving red in the sense, it won't satisfy the constraint. And here itself, it will be a dead end. So, backtrack to the previous step and check the possibility with blue. So, vertex A is given as red and B is given as blue in the sense, what is the possibility? Okay. So, check for C. 
can i give red color for c yes possibility is there if i am giving red color for c and what is the possibility for d red color can i give no c is already with red it is a adjacent vertex this is a dead end and can i give green color for d yes possibility is there red blue red green this is red blue red green okay yes this is one more solution that is yes four now we got the solution backtrack to the previous level and from c we have checked two possibilities one more possibility is there for d can i give blue color for d yes that is one more possibility this is one more feasible solution that is red blue red blue yes this is a solution by satisfying the problem constraint now we got the feasible solution backtrack to the previous step now from c we have checked three possibilities for d now backtrack to the previous step now from d we have checked only the possibility with red two more possibility is there for c that is from c we can give green color for c so red blue green and what is the possibility red color for d if i am giving red color for d already a is red so this will be considered as a dead end okay backtrack to the previous step check the possibility with green color if i am giving green color already the adjacent vertex c is colored with green so this will be considered as a dead end okay so can i give blue color yes this is one more solution red blue green blue yes this is one more solution this is yes six okay so now from c we have checked three possibilities red green and blue for d vertex so backtrack to the previous step and from b for c already we have checked with red color and we have checked with green color check the possibility with blue color blue color it is not possible because already vertex b is colored with blue so this will be considered as a dead end so backtrack to the previous step now from b we have checked all three possibilities for c red green and blue all other possibilities we have checked so backtrack to a and from a we have checked all other possibilities for b okay now if i am giving red color for a in the sense we have checked all the possibilities and this is the state space tree and from here if you are considering in the sense we got six solution s1 s2 s3 here s4 s5 and s6 we got six solutions so s1 if you are considering in the sense the solution is for what is this a b c and d the different colors is red green red green this is s1 solution 2 if you are considering in the sense red green red blue and s3 if you are considering in the sense red green blue green and a solution s4 if you are considering in the sense red blue red green and s5 if you are considering in the sense red blue red blue and s6 if you are considering in the sense red blue green blue so these are all the possible solutions if you are giving vertex a as red color similarly if you are considering in the sense from a we have checked the complete possibilities and backtrack to the initial state from a i can give green color also and construct the state space tree like this if you are constructing in the sense six more solutions we will get similarly if you have given blue color for a there is one more possibility and if you are constructing the state space tree in the sense again six more solutions we will get so for red color we will get six possibilities and green color if you are giving for a in the sense we will get another six possibilities and blue color if you are giving for a in the sense we will get another six possibilities so totally 18 solutions we will get for this given graph with the given colors so here they have given three colors suppose if they have given two colors red and green in the sense what is the possibility initial state this is the initial state for vertex a i can give red color and for vertex a another possibility is i can give green color okay now we will construct this state space tree if i am giving red for a in the sense vertex b i can give green color and for vertex c i cannot able to give green so i can give red color and for vertex d i cannot able to give red color so i have to give green color 
okay so here red color possibility for d this is a dead end okay only two possibilities backtrack to the previous level check the other possibility that is for c green color if you want to give in this is that is a dead end so backtrack to the previous step okay and here we have checked two possibilities because they have given only two colors so only two possibilities for each node okay so backtrack to the previous step can i give red color for b no not possible because already vertex a is red so this is a dead end so here if we are checking in the sense we will get only one solution okay similarly if you have given green color for a in the sense check for b can i give green color no this is a dead end can i give red color for b yes that is possible next for c can i give red color for c this is a dead end can i give green color for c yes that is possible because we have two edges and vertices are of same color this will spoil the constraint this will not satisfy our constraint okay i can give green color for c and for d can i give red color yes this is a solution this is a s2 solution can i give green color for d no this is a dead end okay so here if you are considering in the sense here m is equal to 2 and red and green is given in the sense only two solutions is possible so s1 is nothing but i can give red for a a and c i can give red uh, b and d i can give green okay yes two solution if you are considering a and c i can give green color and b and d i can give red color only two possibilities that's it okay if they have given two colors but if they have given three colors in the sense we have constructed the state space tree with a by considering the red color okay similarly you can consider green color for a and construct the state space tree and blue color for a and construct the separate state space tree for your practice okay but this is the procedure to construct the state space tree for implementing backtracking technique to solve graph coloring problem thank you for watching this video